Hi, I'm Bob Magnuson from ReadWorks, and this is my video podcast number six. And today, I want to address how you can get work online as a woodwind doubler, how you can make income, how you can make contacts. It's nice to have this all set up. You're doing everything right. You're recording files right. You know how to send them out. But who are you going to send them to? How to get work. For the basic first attempt to get experience if you're not experienced at this and to get some chops, you want to go to your local recording studios within your towns and present yourself as a person to a person. Represent yourself with at least a business card and say, I have a horn section. You might have a couple of buddies, you can be a horn section. You go to a studio, you say, yeah, here's one 60 second example of our horn section. Nothing, nothing more. Don't give him your CD. They don't want to listen to a whole CD. Give them the best example of what you have to offer and they might give you a shot. They might get a project in where they say, gee, you know, this could sound good with horns. And they'll send you the track, you guys could do it at home, send it in, get paid. That's number one. Here's number two. If you need experience playing the flute, the piccolo, the clarinet, it's great to call these wedding offices. Wedding offices will shoot photography and have just maybe a keyboard player and a violin playing, but when they're doing the film for the couple to have forever, I used to do sweetening sessions and go into a studio and play flute and clarinet and oboe and be paid. Then it became, I started to do it online before I just didn't care to do that work anymore. That's another opportunity. You get to do it at home, you're safe, you're playing the flute, the clarinet, figuring out the reeds and pitch and all that stuff and you can send it in. Sometimes there's a little bit of a timeline. You can get a week to do a job like that. That's number two. Number three, go online and search um, websites like Bandcamp. I love Bandcamp. There's so much variety of music. I like to do ambient music, so I search out ambient artists. If I hear a track that I particularly like and there's space enough on it, sometimes I'll take that track of an artist I like and I'll overdub myself playing a particular instrument, maybe the oboe or the bass flute, and I'm going to make sure it sounds great, and then I will send that to the artist. And I will make an email saying, I like your music so much, please, I don't want to offend your music, but we only like to add to it. Listen when, you, when time allows. And they will always respond because it's their music. How could you not listen to your own music, and especially if somebody's playing on it? Go online and look up Christian music houses. Look up Jewish pop music production houses, recording studios. I used to do a lot of that kind of music online. Playing horn sections, multiple woodwinds, especially the Jewish contemporary music with uh, clarinets and oboes. And I'd send it back and forth. Another way and resource for revenue to support your business. Another one is gamers. I used to get exposed to these gamer guys just online in chat rooms, music chat rooms, and I'd say, this is what I do, and then, boom, I got a couple of gigs. It was for these games, and I played bass clarinet or some odd woodwind, piccolos, bamboo flutes, and I'd be in this game. And I did that for a while, and they were buyouts, but there might be $500 for two cues. Again, income. Another avenue, if you're an experienced player, Maybe you're a college player that has some real good chops on clarinet and flute, or you're just a complete professional player, of course, that can play really well. Well, here's something that can, you can make money, and you have to keep your chops up, and it's playing Broadway show music at home for these bus and truck companies that use it all on the computer. I've done it for several Broadway shows where I played the entire woodwind section, right down the line, and sent them wave files. It's a ton of work, it's very tedious, and you have to be really focused. But they will pay you. They will pay you. Another source of income to make money as an online woodwind doubler studio musician. And the last one for now, which is fun for me, I've always enjoyed this, is sending out emails to countries that don't have musicians as versatile as us in the United States or in the New York area, whatever. Just the United States alone. There's so much culture and music that is just in us as musicians, so other cultures welcome it. I've, have, I've had many experiences with production companies in Australia 
I've done dance records for people in Italy, other music, fusion music with French artists. I went to Russia several years ago on a tour. I met all these Russian musicians. I was there for a month, and I collaborate with them now online, doing records, projects, and it just keeps growing and growing. So keep looking forward to more of my podcasts. It's a joy for me to help you all, and I welcome more of your emails and texts. I appreciate it. Thank you.